Hello everyone. Some users are reporting that after updating to Windows 10 their USB ports have stopped working which is kind of a bummer for a lot of people. If you have faced the same issue after updating to Windows 10 or you are an existing user but your USB ports are not working this video will help to fix your USB ports and you can use them again. If your mouse are not working, you can use touchpad to navigate and use right click key from your keyboard to do a right click for the methods given below. Method 1. Make sure USB device is working properly. Easy things first, sometimes your USB device is faulty and you are finding fault in your computer. You can insert your USB device on any other computer and check that it is working or not. You can also check your ports by inserting any other USB device to your PC. Method 2. Check that your USB ports get power. Remove the charger from the socket and remove charger pin from your laptop. Reboot your laptop. Connect the USB device in the USB port. Plug back your charger to the laptop. This method will ensure that your USB ports get power supply they need. Method 3. Disable and enable USB controllers. Press Windows key plus R together from your keyboard to open run. Type devmgmt.msc in it. Press enter key from the keyboard. Now, double click on Universal Serial Bus Controllers. Right click on the first USB controller and click on Disable Device. Now, again right click on that USB controller and choose enable device. Go on disabling and then enabling devices for all the USB controllers from the list. Method 4. Disable USB selective suspend. Press Windows key plus R key together and open run. Now, copy and paste the following text and hit enter key. Now, Double click on USB settings to expand it. Now, double click on USB selective suspend setting. Now, choose disabled from the drop down. Method 5. Disable power management for USB ports. Right click on the Windows button and select Device Manager. It will open up Device Manager window, look for Universal Serial Bus Controllers. Expand Universal Serial Bus Controllers and locate USB Root Hub. Double click on it and it will open Properties of USB Root Hub. Head over to the Power Management tab and then check Allow the computer to turn off this device to save power and click OK. Repeat this step for all the USB root hubs and Universal Serial Bus Controllers menu. Method 6. Reinstall USB Controllers. Open Device Manager. Here you need to click on Universal Serial Bus Controllers and expand this option. Here you need to right click on each USB controller and choose the Uninstall option. You need to repeat the same procedure with all available USB controllers listed under Universal Serial Bus Controllers. Finally, once you are done with the uninstallation process, you need to restart your system. Upon rebooting your system Windows automatically will scan your system of hardware changes and install all missing drivers. Method 7. Check for physical damage. If none of the above methods worked for you, your USB ports must have damaged physically. USB ports are prone to loosening if we use it excessively. You have to get checked your USB ports in repair store. Don't worry if your ports are damaged because replacing USB ports is inexpensive. 